Coach Rowan, let's start with an obvious question. Why Temple? Yeah, I think it's um, there's so much excitement here uh, and, and through the interview process, getting to, to really know, um, you know the people involved in the program, the people involved in the administration, um, you know, being in a, a soccer hotbed like Philadelphia, uh, the team being right in the city, it, it, there's just so many real positives about um, just the big picture. And then I think getting to know uh, the conference a little bit better and, and some of the players and some of the, um, the, the talent that's already here. It's just a really exciting uh, blend of, of opportunity. So, What did you think when you first saw the facilities? You've got this new field, a skyline, a little different than you imagined? Yeah, I think, you know, not knowing, we hadn't played here before, so it wasn't uh, that I knew a ton of what to expect, but um, anytime you can be in and around the community, both from the university standpoint and, and the, just the overall community, uh, you could just see right away this is something that you can you can bring people in uh, under the lights and really attract uh, some, some recruits to, to what the, the feel, game day feel is. Now that you're here, where do you start? What's the first thing you do? Yeah, that's a, the golden question. Um, I think really it's just trying to get a sense of uh, the details of the program as quickly as possible. I think when you go through the, the process of, of interviewing, you don't really know um, all the details uh, because they're so, they're so vast. So now it's, it's getting to know the players, getting to know um, the facilities a little bit more closely, uh, scheduling, that kind of stuff. So it's really getting down to the nitty gritty details now, um, as well as, you know, it's all about, for me, it's always about people. So it's, it's understanding the support staff and kind of uh, what their expectations are and my expectations, and then it'll be quickly understanding you know, the player's experience and, and how we can um, change that going forward. What's your vision of good soccer? I mean, there's so many different styles of play. Yeah. How do you want this team to play? Yeah, I think um, I like an attractive attacking style of, of play. I think uh, you know, my training sessions always be really you know, organized and detailed, um, but it's a lot of work to put in for something if you're not really enjoying it. And, and for me, I enjoy being in control of the games, um, being more of the, the hunter versus the hunted. Uh, so it's going to be very proactive, attacking minded, uh, but clearly organized and, and um, you know, defined roles and responsibilities are, are very important to me. Um, but I, I want to be in control of the game. You know, I want people to come and see what we're doing and feel like they can be proud of what we're doing and, and, and come back and, and feel like there's real value in the product. How excited are you to get the ball rolling and get into spring practice and meet these guys? Yeah, I'm really excited. I think that's you know, at the core of, of what this is. It's still, I'm a soccer coach and, and, and getting the guys here and getting back to, to soccer is, is really exciting. Um, you know, there's all the other details are, are exactly what they are. Their details are very important, but getting to business and, and, and working with them and helping to improve their, um, their abilities on the field and, and give them a different voice and maybe a different you know, set of ideas and, and uh, just look at them through a different lens I think will be really exciting for them and for me as well just to, to see the players and evaluate them and, and get to know them you know, as pl players and as people, yeah. You'd been at Maryland, correct me if I'm wrong, eight years. Eight seasons, yeah. Eight seasons. Yeah. Did you have a moment that you knew it was, you know, this was right, the right next step for you to come to Temple? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I enjoyed my time at Maryland and, and was happy there. It was certainly a very successful program and, and had a very important role within that. Um, but, yeah, it just felt right. I think you always go with your gut, and, and this felt like a really great opportunity to to build something that, that you could just feel that it's on the cusp of, of growing uh, and meeting with the administration and, and Pat's vision of what he wants. I think that all those pieces really came together, and... Um, it was it was a perfect situation once once I really got to to know the people. Yeah. Yeah. Pat's a very excited guy. Lots yeah. of energy. Did that feel like the right fit? Of course. I mean, I think, you know, again, we all work really hard. So to, to be around people that are excited about what they do, uh, that are driven, uh, it, it makes a world of difference. And it's it's you know unique in, in some ways. It's not it's not that it's everywhere. So. Uh, getting to know him and, and getting his ideas about um, what he wants us to be just as a department and, and as, a, as a soccer program. Uh, yeah, that, that energy, you could feel it, you know, over the phone when I talked to him and you could feel it in person. You could just feel this, uh, this direction and, and, and excitement for, for soccer here. All right, Coach Roland. Well, I am very excited to see you guys hit the field and 
this new new beginning. Yeah. Well, thank you for talking to me, and yeah, I'm excited to get to work. Absolutely. Anything else you want to say to Temple fans out there? Hopefully, you guys come out and support us. Uh, I think that uh, we're going to put a, a very proud uh, team on the field that uh, everyone will be uh, excited to watch, and uh, go Owls.